thousand performances in London alone, and still running. In America, two years on Broadway, audiences in all the key cities have flocked to see it. Noel Card's blithe spirit. Once upon a time, there was a charming country house in which lived a very happily married couple. And you seriously expect me to believe that you weren't drunk? I know I wasn't drunk. If I'd been all that drunk, I'd have a dreadful hangover now, wouldn't I? I'm not at all sure that you haven't. Well, I haven't got a trace of a headache. My tongue's not coated. Look at it. I've not the least desire to look at your tongue. Kindly put it in again. Or maybe I should have said they were a happily married couple until... Is there anyone there who wishes to speak to anyone here? Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Is it Mr. Condamine? There's someone who wishes to speak to you, Mr. Condamine. Well, tell them to leave a message. <coughs> Ought we to pick it up or leave it where it is? Well, how the devil should I know? Well, there's no need to snap, isn't it? I suppose we'd better pick it up. Leave it where it is. Who said that? Who said what? Well, somebody said leave it where it is. Oh, nonsense, dear. I heard it distinctly. Nobody else did, did they? Good evening, Charles. Ventriloquism, that's what it is, ventriloquism. Before long, he found himself with two wives. Well, don't be upset, Ruth, dear. We shall adjust ourselves, you know. You must admit it's a unique position. I can see no reason why we shouldn't get a great deal of fun out of it. Fun? How can you, Charles? You must be out of your mind. Yes, I thought I was at first, but now I must admit I began to enjoy myself. Oh. 